I don't need to think about it There's nothing in this world that we can't do Flowers even mad about it Cause they can't blow like you don't I don't see a way around it Cause everything has led me straight to you It's nothing new Baby, I'm outside Be thinking about you all night Be thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside Be thinking about you all night Be thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside The station, sunrise, no destination, no lie. I've been so patient, like winter, waiting for June. I'm done and waiting for you, waiting for you. Baby, I'm outside, been thinking about you all night. So So final thoughts. Loved my book. What um, do you have yours? Well, we're, what are your final thoughts of it? What what is Just it called again? Death in her hands. Death in her hands. Um, the, final thoughts. Is, some old ladies, musings. Just her thoughts. <laughs> Bye. You were such. You were so good to me. <laughs> See ya. Would you rate your book? One out of ten. Oh. I think three out of five. Three uh -huh. out of five. What about out of ten now? Uh, four? I guess three out of... Okay, so you went from three out of five to four two, out of ten. Two point five out of five. And, okay. And, well, I don't know. <laughs> Numbers are hard. <laughs> Long story short, she's not sure. But I rate Ruby Fruit Jungle solid nine out of ten. Great, great first book to kick off my um, journey of reading into adulthood. <laughs>
sounded fun. I loved the cover, pretty cute. I actually used one recipe from this already and I really like it. And then in honor of Pride, I got this Tasty Pride cookbook and I really like it because every recipe is accompanied by a personal story from someone in the queer community. And I just love it. Like the recipes in here are so fun and so different. And there was a recipe in particular that I was so intrigued by. It's this baked, baked brie recipe. And I'm so excited to make it. I'm gonna have a sous chef today. <laughs> what are you kidding? Hmm. A sous. How do you feel about being my sous chef? Don't call me Sue. I will. I feel great about it. All right. Once she's done doing what she's got to do, we are going to make this dip. And I thought it'd be fun to take you along on the journey. I don't know about y'all. nostalgic about making a recipe from a book. It's like reading books versus reading them on a tablet or what did I say the other day? Oh, like receiving snail mail, like handwritten letters as opposed to an email or a text. Just things that like we don't do anymore and I feel like they feel very special when they are done. So thus cooking out of a cookbook. the ingredients together and get this show on the road. Okay, we need from the fridge, orange juice, the lemon juice, you've already got the brie, the peppers, and basil. All right, so we've got all the ingredients. We've got apricots. Is it apricots or apricots? I think either. Either, mm -hmm. okay. Um, peppers, honey, a peach, our lady of the hour, Brie, and what is this? Lemon juice, orange juice, sugar, and basil. And oh, our um, bread is back there. I think we toast the French baguette. Baguette? Baguette to dip in the Brie. I wanted to um, get a shot of the recipe over here in case you want to screenshot it and make it for yourself. There it is, folks. This is the assignment. We'll see how close we get, how mm. close we get to that. So it says, step one, in a small pot over medium heat, combine the dried apricots small. and orange juice. I don't know if they're I like not, apricots. They're not very appealing smell-wise. Some, okay. some interesting little, <laughs> Oh, you're great. Oh, it's a great start. So I'm using this little. Casey and Will's got that for us. Yes. Well, for you. It's adorable. <laughs> for me. Oh, yeah, for my birthday. Christmas. So we're going to go to half a cup. Or is it Christmas? Mm -hmm. <gasps> that was my birthday. Okay. So. I'll open the orange juice. We just got some nice little great value. We did a uh, Walmart pickup order, which is truly the easiest thing in the world. I like, we have um, my sister pays for the Walmart delivery. And so there are moments where we take advantage of her Walmart delivery. But today we were out and about anyway, so we thought we'll just go pick it up at the store. Half a cup of apricots into the saucepan. And then half a cup of orange juice as well. <laughs> and it says bring to a simmer and then reduce heat to low and cook. So we'll just bring that to a simmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm living this life with a different attitude. Don't flip, don't trip, keeping up the good mood. Cooking up some good food with my friends in the street. Yeah, people want to chill, they can come and speak to me. Good, good. It says to uh, let them simmer for like 10 minutes until all of the, until all of the juice is pretty much evaporated. And I feel like, God. Six seconds left. It's looking pretty great. Chopping, 
chopping my apricots. ASMR. Yeah. Oh. So basically we have this little peach, apricot, fruit, pepper mixture in a bowl and we had to let it sit for an hour. So that was kind of fun because- Wardrobe change. <laughs> Mel had a wardrobe change. We were really hungry. So we had to, you know, get over our sadness, but it's been an hour. So now what we're gonna do is drain this mixture because it does still have a good bit of liquid in it. And then Melanie's going to put the brie on our little, mm. what is that called? A tray a platter? Dish. A dish, a dish, duh. Why is this crazy, <laughs> my What's one of the things you miss most about pre-COVID? Ooh, like like life and what the world? You're, what you're excited about Oh, coming back. I think we've, we've talked about this a little bit, but I'm really excited to go to shows again. Yes. When we can do that and so it's safe for everyone. Franklin, Tennessee. September. Yeah, oh, we I'm love so this um, this all girl band called Joseph. They have amazing music. If you haven't listened to them, I highly recommend their album, Good Luck Kid. It is phenomenal. We've seen them once live and loved it. And we, Melanie found out that they're coming to Franklin? Yes, Franklin. Yeah, they're coming to Franklin. So, oh, we're gonna have to go watch them. It's so exciting. Oh, okay, let me show you this. So Melanie has unwrapped the brie and now we're taking the fruit mixture and I can actually hold up the bowl and we're supposed to put it over the brie. Ooh, yeah, just, oh, God. oh it's oh. a lot. It oh. said mound on top. Mound on top, well, it's a mound. Oh, God. Mound the fruit on top, allowing excess fruit to drop down. And okay, you're. I think you're this right. is this you're is right. this right. is going right. Right. well. This yeah. is what's supposed to happen. Also, please ignore our coffee stain counter. Mel it's no, cheap it's not paint. too. <laughs> it is. We had a little coffee massacre this morning, but that's okay. So it looks great, and now we're about to. We're about to bake her, I guess. Yep. And uh, I'm excited for this. We're putting the brie in. Question. How long do we do this for? Let's 15. see. Yeah, 15 minutes. Oh, and we are going to toast our baguette too. So I guess we can put some olive oil I on did it. on the bottom. I mean on top, like drizzled on top of the bread. Mm. What are your thoughts on this? Thing. On it. You act like this is going to take so long. I feel like it is. I feel like we should have. My, hear, hear me out. Here was my thoughts. You just drizzle a little bit of this. I bought this bottom. cute thing with our wedding registry. Off of our, well, with our red, wedding registry gift cards. Already, and no I one ever on uses bottom. it. Oh, well that. But if no one's there to film it, did it really happen? The things you know now. <laughs> I will insert a, uh. What is it called? Time time lapse of this butter situation um, for your viewing pleasure. Whoa! Ooh. Took no time. <laughs> okay, wait. We just talked about Joseph, and you're you're wearing their brand, your their band tee. You'll see when you go back. <laughs> That's and, adorable. You'll see in the footage. I, I pointed. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at myself. And oh, shocker! Look. <laughs> she's a real she's in. a real fan she <laughs> when we say we're fans of something love we really are yes. all right so now we're going to broil this bread you kind of got you got apricot juice on me we're gonna boil the bread no we're not we're going to toast the bread <laughs> tell you my soul of my body oh my god we're gonna toast the bread and uh we'll come back when uh, the, uh, the the breeze the breeze done <laughs> so cute can you tell me what you said before you um did it <laughs> this will be b-roll is this okay? are you okay in there heeny i think she's okay so i've been instructed to taste test <laughs> these Chocolatey tree stops. Uh, our friend slash neighbor Danielle, we are um, 
watching her cat, Marie. We can put some pictures of Marie in. Marie is very cute. Um, old Marie. And so she got us some snacks and stuff, and these are very funny. I love the rabbit. Anyway, we're gonna taste test these. You ready? Yes, very ready. Are they cookies? Wow. I, I was wondering. Uh -huh. That's cute. <gasps> Did you? It's the littlest tree stump. Oh my gosh, I'll just send a picture of this to Danielle so she can see what they look like. Oh my gosh. Very. Like mm. pillowy. Mm -hmm. it's, sh it's like a, the trunk is shortbread and then the like dark brown is like this thick chocolate that tastes it's soft. Like yeah, it's soft. What is what is that candy? Mm. Oh, it um, tastes like a crunch bar. Like um, oh, yeah. what is that called? A a hundred grand? Is that the name of oh, the? Oh, that's why I like it so much. It tastes like a one hundred grand candy bar that's with like an old shortcake. person candy, and I love mm. it so much. That's I why you like it. it. Mm. <laughs> oh, um, the bread. Uh, oh no, the bread. We're also going to review these. Um, not even going to try to pronounce it. I yeah, they will. look like jewelry beads. I'll give a reading of this. Mm, this is like a little um, candy haul. I'm sorry. This is my. <laughs> we literally just talked about me talking over her. And I was like, I have got to stop that. That is rude. It's rude. And, and then I, I said, said it. it's not that bad. Huh. You're proving me wrong. <laughs> okay, so the this is my. This would be my eulogy for you. <laughs> okay. Succeed to the merit of handmade as the old time spirit still now. Oh. And that's that was beautiful. Do you think these are sour or? I like I don't know. Pretty. They literally look like jewelry There's beads. A pink one. I'm scared. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, Gender reveal. Ooh. It's a weird. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, she's crunchy. It tastes like sh flavored sugar. Like, um, I was thinking it was gonna be like a fruity thing. It tastes like crystallized sugar. Ooh, it's sugar and sweet potato starch. Mm-hmm. It's crispy sugar. It it tastes great. It's turned also into Pocky. You may have heard of yeah. it. <laughs> I think this has turned into like a a, a mukbang. Ooh, it's strawberry. Mm. She also gave us, I'll put a picture in here of the little spread she had. It was so sweet. She gave us the chocolate hazelnut pocky as well. I love but these suckers. I, oh, aren't they They're adorable? So Look at these, hold on. They're yummy. But I obviously ate all of the chocolate hazelnut spread. All right, yeah, these are my true joy in life. Are they not the most adorable suckers ever? And they're like, uh, they're chocolate, so it's just a delightful little treat, but I always feel bad eating them because they're so cute. And then she got us some Hello Panda, and I've never actually had the vanilla kind. So I have already obviously eaten almost the whole box. So thank you, Danielle. All right, so it, we just pulled it out and it looks great. It probably could be a little more like, bubbled up, but we're very hungry. So we, we decided we're gonna go ahead and try it. Okay, mine's really cheers. gooey. Ooh, cheers. It's so pretty. Oh, it should be a picture. Yours is really, oh. <laughs> Yours is really, <laughs> I'll wait on you. Hold on, hold on. 30 minutes later. <laughs> oh, hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I love that. <laughs> that's, that's so good. Look at that cheese. Mm. Oh. <laughs> in case you want to know my favorite scene in any Disney movie in all of Disney movie history, other than Frozen 2, this is it. And you're about to see why. Ah. 
Melanie said that this was coping mechanisms. This is what she drank. <laughs> me, me every single day of my life. Me. <laughs> Hello. Well, I am winding down from the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I am just going to read a little bit. I got this book at the library today. It's called um, In the Dream House, and it was a recommendation from a friend of mine. Thank you, Keisha. I have started it, and I've probably read maybe eight to ten pages, and I'm already, like, so obsessed with it. This book is so beautifully written. The author, Carmen Maria Mikado, brilliant. Oh. I'm already so obsessed. I cannot wait to read this. While we were at the library, we're visiting my nephew this next week, and I wanted to bring a little book to read to him while we're there. And so Melanie and I picked out this Except When They Don't book, and it looked so adorable. We kind of flipped through it, but basically it's just a book that discusses like gender norms but that you don't have to like obviously conform to a certain um interest just because of your gender and um it's just a really beautiful message i am excited to um read it to him and yeah i think that's all i've got for today i hope you guys have an amazing week and we will see you in the next one bye i don't need to think about it there's nothing in this world that we can't do flowers even mad about it Cause it can't blow like you don't